Hi all, the good morning now. This is a, today is a 12th of February uh, 2020. I promised uh, to take you through the feeding process of um, the younger seed. What I mean by younger seeds are seeds from friars, fingerlings, and uh, juvenile size. Uh, I, there's a lecture I did a uh, day before yesterday and I have a series of questions on how to feed your fishes in order to maintain the growth of your fishes and uh, to make sure you don't overfeed. Overfeeding sometimes may cause your fishes to die when they, they do, when the feed reduces the ammonia of the water or that is when there is no oxygen in the water the fishes started dying so I promised uh, to uh, to give out the training but today I'll be telling you on how to feed series of fryers in your pond if you haven't done your sorting in some of my ponds here we haven't done the sorting the fishes are the fishes are about five weeks old in this pond we have we have some post fingerling size we have fingerling size and we have some post fryer size so in feeding them there are two ways of doing that it's either you mix your feed and hold together and you started feeding them or you feed them separately feeding them separately means that if i'm having uh post fingerlings here that are picking 1.8 mm that means i will have to feed them first with the 1.8 mm and i will now change to 2 mm so that those fingerling size will pick the 1.2 mm and the prosphere size can pick the 0 0.8 to 0 0.9 to, to 0 0.7 to 0 0.8 mm so that's practice, that practice I'm going to do now so that you guys can really understand. So I will try to make a demonstration for you. At least if you are seeing through the video, you can really pick up and understand what I'm talking about. Now here I said I'm having some post fingerlings. That means post fingerlings are eating 8 mm. So there are two, two ways you can do this. These are 8 mm size of scratching feed. If you are giving them, firstly, that means the, the baby ones can pick and I'll change the lower one just at this point. Now I'm feeding them uh, 8 mm. Just, I'm just citing an example. So this is the 8 mm now. Let us just presume that they are okay with the 8 mm. Now I can now go to stretching, stretching 1.2 mm. So feeding them what we do, those small, small ones we automatically feed on the scratching 1.2 mm so now it's now left for the last batch so this is a 1 mm size of scratching so filling them again with 1 mm size of that that means those species on like fry size will still see their own portion of the feed to feed with now let me now go to this is 0 0.8 of stretching. Now feeding them with 0 0.8 mm. Those are just the proceed of feeding them unlike you are trying to feed it all your fryers without sorting. But when you have sorted them, that means you now started feeding them with the sizes that requires for them to feed. I will now take you to the other point to do the next, the next exercise for you. On, on the other point, we have real sizes of fishes, fishes too as well. That means we have post fingerlings, we have fingerlings, and we have fryers. So I'll be mixing the feed together in a proportion. Like this is 1.8 mm, this is 1.2 mm, this is 1 mm, and this is 0 0.8 mm. So I'll be mixing them together so because of the sizes here because it's well mixed together the fishes so it, it will be feeding in a broadcasting method that is the broadcasting system so that all the ones that are hanging can conveniently pick it as well it will happen to their whole size or their whole all sizes here so you can feed them in a broadcasting way so that 
all your fishes can confidently pick the various sizes they needed. And these two as well. So they can conveniently feed on the free sizes they needed. I yesterday I talked about uh, how to submit your fishes for activeness and for them to be very very agile and not stressful. So those are the two proportions of feeding, system of feeding that I would like to talk talk to you today about. What that means, I was telling you on how to feed in a mixture way that means you mix all your feet together to feed all your on the on salted fish so that all your fishes can grow in that same pond because there are a lot of mistakes most ashes most, most breeder normally does if you are feeding and your like when your fishes should be eating 1.8 mm and you are feeding them with 2 mm it will be affecting the fishes the small small fishes will not eat and those fishes will not grow and uh, by the way it will make that fish is stunted or runted so that's why they say when your fishes are run as stunted but if you want to feed them so that all your fishes can take the proportion of the feed and grows as a quote those are the system you use in feeding them i will still take you through on how the simple way of sorting them there's a lot of ways of sorting them but i, I don't have time now because i'm very, very busy i don't have time to do the sorting now and i'm making sure the feed it was feed as required and I will still tell you about the system. I will calculate the system for you. They call it the feeding chart for fryers. The feeding chart for fryers, let me just uh, give you a glance. The feeding chart for fr fryers are a system whereby, let me give you an insight. Is that This two, 1.2 mm CP is about 48% uh, CP. That means if your fish are eating 48% CP and you are giving them 0.5 of other feed that is not up to that CP, and you are overfeeding them or, uh, or uh, underfeeding them, the fishes will not grow as required. So I will tell you the feeding chart on how to feed your fryers that you will not be overfeeding because mostly overfeeding normally kills your fish. Let me give you an instance. If you overfeed your fish today and you don't change the water tomorrow, the fishes will start dropping. They will start dying. Infection will enter. Uh, we, 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 we catch up with them immediately. So I will tell you the system.